One Owner Car Guy, OneOwnerCarGuy.com. And what I got here for you today is the interior review of this big bad muscle car. Ooh, buddy. Gets no nicer in the economy wagon class. This is a 1974 Pinto two-door wagon. Um, and I'm going to get a quick walk around here at night so you can see the difference of the body and paint at night. And it's absolutely gorgeous. And I do, do dig this car now. It's definitely on the, the cheap economy cars of the 70s type deal. And like I said in the other video, the fuel tank issue was an overblown thing that really ended up being... They recalled the recall. Does that make sense? Check that out online. You can look it up. But great little car. When it comes to survivors, this is it. Um, this car is a survivor. Non-rusty, beautiful Pinto. So, that's a quick walk around again. The main thing about this is the interior. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. I'll show you under the hood. And I wait until the sun is at that perfect time. See, it's almost gone. That's over there. Okay. I guess I'll start on the pass uh, blah, 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 blah. driver's side. Pop the hood. What are you doing? Oh, cry, cry, cry. Are you chilly? It's that time of the quarter. Or whatever you say. Okay. Let's just start on the worst first. The seats are torn. That's all there is to say about it. In the fronts. Now this seat actually looks great up here. This seat looks great up here except for this piece. I can get these replaced cheap. This set at my interior shop for a year and a half. This and my Centurion, almost a year and a half. We stopped by to start it every few months and that's about it. Um, it needs a dash pad. That's the worst. Now let's look at the back seat, which needs nothing, pretty much. Door jams and everything clean as can be. These here pieces, nice as can be. Okay, there. Oh, it's missing the handle piece there, the plastic on it, I think. Now, I'm not sure if it's the original paint. I am 99.999. I mean, I really can't just guarantee you 100%. This thing has chips and stuff there. I'm thinking that's for my damn shoe just now. Disc brakes. That doesn't even have any wear on it. Carpet's coming up from under the seal, but it's not in perfect shape. I got a shag carpet. I think it's original. Um, yeah, because it's actually got the discolored mark from where the sun was hitting this, but not this. Um, I think that's probably a floor mat on this or something. Yeah, you can tell. Old metal dashes and everything. That was a little piece of seal around this thing. Now, it does have factory AC, which is a super cool option for this car. And I don't know if it had the woody outside. I doubt it. Because it would have been more... You'd have seen more if they took it off. It's got the wood there. Well, not real wood. In here. And on this handle. So that is that. Now, I did tell you, of course, this needs to replace. It's just a little dash pad. For the test drive, I'm going to look and try and find that online. It's not a very expensive piece if you were actually restoring the car. I do not believe it has been smoked in or anything. That's just age on it. Two post radio. I know the tape is stuck. So let's just go with that and say it don't work. Now I kept this because this is the color the headliner was. I hope that stayed up. And the padding is still on the front piece. I didn't even take it down, but the padding came off the back pieces. Okay, so I kept this to where you had a piece of it, to where you, in case you really wanted to... I don't know what somebody would want to do. I mean, if I was putting a headliner in this, I would go original color, just for the heck of it. Um, that clothes is fine, but it's just open a bit. I don't know why. I haven't researched it. I could probably, you know what? 
I guarantee it's that bottom piece gets bent in there a little bit. And if you take the bottom screws off and flatten the piece down there, it'll make it close more like that. It'll just be a different angle. So, there we are. Miscellaneous scuffy scratches on this type of stuff. And one more thing about the front, well, the sun visors. Actually, I have. Consider this. Even a Mercedes has plastic, those pieces, and they all give out. But they're in good shape. You could actually clean them and they'd be fine. Um, which is amazing. The thing must have been kept in a garage. Especially like a wagon. These all get rotted out and everything. Because it's like a hot box in here. Plain and simple. Headliners don't survive in these. A little hole in the carpet right there. And I got a couple screws here. Um, I believe they're from the... You know what I'm talking about. Even though you don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, so, let's take these. I got keys somewhere. Original California blue plate. Ouch. And I'll show you that later. I'll show you why it's like that in a second. Back seat's in great shape. Just absolutely great shape. That's all there is to it. Um, I'm looking for my keys now to open the trunk. Got them. I have no clue what this is. Likely some type of a caddy type thing. Miscellaneous scratches there. Cup holder is what I'm trying to say. Um, nice little rear buckets. It's a 74. Of course it says 10 of 73 because that's how they do them in America. These doors close so nice. That's all there is to it. Okay, before I forget, I'm going to come over here. I didn't show you that chip either. God, that original paint's thick. Okay. Slight little bump in the trim right there. I didn't notice that before. You tell him, girl. Tinybeagles.com. There's a dog bark, and there's one walking up the street. And she ain't having it. That's why the plate was cut. And I wasn't gonna cut my dealer plate. It's a California car, but I wasn't gonna cut my dealer plate. So, nice shape back here. I don't know what this is. Could have been a kill switch, but there's a wire underneath. I believe it's disconnected now. Um, there's no rest or nothing. Nice. I don't know, but Henry. If Henry's the guy that approved this when it went out, or if it's because of Ford. Look at that, the original clips are still there to clip them in. That is just so cool. Um, of course, let's be reasonable. I'm not gonna be the one to stretch this out. You can. Actually, I might be. You know, it, it'll do it, I believe, 100%. I'm just not gonna stretch it. Um, I am going to lay that seat down, however. I was going to do it before. Now look at this weather stripping stuff here. Is um, what do you call it? Window, rail molding or something to that effect. Never done this before. Ooh, not perfect. Look, there's a hole there. Thank God I came on this side and right here too. I don't know what that clip was, but it's there. How's that? How is that? Just sweet. Stinking live in this thing, man. Some tears in the carpet right there. I'll leave this door open to where I can show you. And I'm going to go back around the other side and pop the hood. Look at that. <whistles> Seriously. And this, <laughs> serious, look at this. Beautiful. A little bit of aging starting along that edge. There's one little tear in it right here. And a little bit of aging starting on that edge. But it's still spongy and everything. Plastic trim. Is that metal? That's plastic. That plastic trim is still intact. That might be metal. Which is, again, on this, just amazing that that piece is still there. That's metal. But that's not. Okay, my battery's dying. I'm gonna have to get the hood down, up. Hope I can end this video. I'm not gonna speed up too much. Slow down. I'll come back if I have to and clip it in. I wanna make sure and not rush myself and miss something. 
just absolutely beautiful on the doors. You've seen the dash. You've seen the foul wood. Chunk missing there. Oh, and the word on the seatbelts is... How's that for word on the seatbelts? They're up here because we were going to take the headliner down. I believe that's pretty much the story. There's that. I did that before I started this video, huh? Okay. It's just easier when you're detailing. And it was like that. Okay. Under the hood. Damn it. Got a broken finger on that hand. And so it really. Ow! Sorry, Mr. Camera and people watching. It really changes the way you do things. Okay! Absolutely beautiful under the hood. Air conditioning. And there's still the label on the motor. The engine leader's scraped off. I think it's a 2.3. Yeah, they're 2,300. Kind of still got the sticker. Somebody converted it and put an electronic ignition on it. The crane. Pretty cool. Actually, really cool. It's got a, a spray bottle for that. The belt is off from the AC. To there so it doesn't turn. Um, smog pump belt. If that is a smog pump, I'm not sure. It doesn't turn because of that. There is no smog on this year in California. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the valve cover. Still got a lot of blue paint on it. It's clean. It's got what I believe to be 85,000 original miles on it. Look at the bottom of the hood. This is not a rusty car. This is a very clean car. That's all I have to say about it. I didn't want to spray that or anything blue. Well, I'm back. But in being back, I really don't know that there's anything else that I needed to show you on it. Um, you can skip back a few seconds. It's just a little patina on the inside of that. Nice as can be, clean as can be. Um, go ahead and definitely, look at them hubcaps. Hit me up on Facebook. Um, and subscribe on YouTube. You know what? No, that's how they're shaped. And the sh oh, I don't know. This may have came down over the years. Maybe it used to come out, or maybe it just went down. I really don't know. They're both like that, though. That's that. I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye. I think that is the entire interior. I'm gonna make sure. Oh. Couple more things. Dang it, man. This finger is killing me. Sorry about that. I need to take a picture. Okay, can you sit in the seat for a second, reader? I know she doesn't run all over the cars usually, but for this particular given thing here, that's where she's going to be. Now, they actually still have the covers on these, which is just amazing. I don't mean to complain here about my finger. Okay, that one is different. It needs to come off. It actually, yeah. The driver's one's actually different. You have to pull it back, take that off, shove that through there. So that one will have to be done at a different later date. There's some wear on that, on that. And the chrome color around here is worn off. Hood thing works, aftermarket gauges work. Sorry about the reflection. Try and get that. I wanted to disclose the cracks in the steering wheel. These <laughs> seat's still squeaky, which is pretty common here. You found a big old place, huh? Okay, well. Don't, 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 my little Pinto does 110. I don't know about that. Actually, it probably would, man. This thing goes. It really does. Okay, oh, that little light. 
I'm glad I seen that before life, look at how nice that closed. Before life got too serious, because this light is missing the dome cover, but it's very strong. Look at that, little metal inserts. I'm gonna get back and zoom in. Little metal inserts within the plastic. Look at that. Hang on now, I'm sorry. That is high-tech manufacturing. It's quality. It is pretty good quality, seriously. Okay, keep this in here. Nice little center consoles, all in good shape. And that's that. Okay, well, thanks for watching. That is the interior. Next is the test drive. I'll put a little link to that somehow. And check it out. Make sure and subscribe. Cereal Marshmallows on YouTube. And you can go to Cereal Marshmallows on Facebook also. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you. Cansoup.com.